Zdravim, everybody. Today I thought I would explore a little bit of the surrounding area where I live. Um, I live in Bratislava uh, on one of the outer districts. Um, and right behind me, as you can see, is the uh, Little Danube River. It's the smaller river that connects with the Blue Danube River. And uh, another thing that's kind of cool and interesting about today is uh, it's September 1st. And in Slovak history, that is uh, important because today's a holiday. It is the um, uh, National Constitution Day. So, um, you know, in, in, in history, I would, I would imagine it's the same for the Czechs as well, but it's the, uh, the day that uh, Slovakia had uh, achieved its independence. So it's a little bittersweet because on one hand, they gained their independence today, but at the same time, they broke up and split apart from the Czech Republic, so it was no longer Czechoslovakia, but Czech Republic and Slovakia, or Slovak Republic. But um, uh, today I, I just wanted to also uh, go for a walk, explore the area near where I live. Um, there's a lot of uh, beautiful nature uh, in this country, and uh, more specifically today I wanted to talk about the seven things that I really like about living in Slovakia as a foreigner. So for now, I'm, I'm going to continue my walk. Uh, there's a destination that we're going to be going to. Um, it's some viewpoint um, on the river or at some lake or something like that. Uh, and I will let you know what it's called. So maybe if you want to look it up on Google Maps or online somewhere, uh, you can check out the uh, photos of it. But um, I'm, I'm going to record a bit of me walking and have it uh, fast forwarded so that uh, you can see my little walk over there and then I'll talk about the seven things that I like about living in Slovakia as a foreigner. Real quick, I just wanted to show you uh, this cornfield that is next to the uh, bike path uh, that I'm walking on. Uh, here, take a look. Um, obviously, there's uh, cornfields, all I would think in uh, many parts of the world, uh, especially the states, yeah. But um, it's just kind of neat to see a cornfield that's right next to the uh, biking or the walking path that I'm walking on. So just thought I'd share. So, all right, let's move on. I just want to show you the field, the open field, and over there to the right you can see the cornfield. Uh, and we're really starting to get out um, into a bit of the country. I mean, you know, I'm still right next to Bratislava, but um, apparently a lot of Slovakia looks like this. Like, uh, I mean, not the entire country, but you know, many areas are flat. Uh, there's nothing but fields, na nature. And it's quiet and peaceful and it's nice and pleasant and sunny and yeah. Here is the little Danube from the bridge perspective. And off in the distance you can see some people on canoes, just canoeing. And yeah, they're having fun. So kind of neat. Now um, I'll show you this uh, area. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, I will look it up later and kind of talk about what it exactly it is but um uh there's <laughs> it's divided by uh, two fences and one of the fences has barbed wire on it so must be very high security for something maybe it's uh oh maybe it's uh maybe it's like an airstrip or like for planes or something because it, it it is uh like right next to a very large open field so i don't know who knows i'm at a point at the little danube where there's this sign, and of course there's graffiti on it, but it kind of shows us uh, some landmarks. Like, I don't know if you can see this okay, uh, but I've been to that tower before. And all these other places would be really cool to see. Uh, there's some bicyclists going by, but uh, there's this cool bridge, which uh, it looks like it's locked. Um, it must have been for, I don't know, cars, small trains or something? I'm not exactly sure. 
but uh, I will get a bit closer. And we're almost at the final destination. Here, we're almost at the final destination. Um, what is it called again? Uh, it's it's like a little lake. Uh, there's a small beach on the lake. It's called um, uh, Atloshka Beach, and that's where we're, we're gonna be going. But let me just show you this uh, bridge again real quick. So it's definitely locked, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what this would be for transporting over. It looks, I mean, of course, just for people walking, but it looks a little strange uh, to be for people walking. Like, I don't know. It just seems like it, it's for something else, like some kind of vehicle or something. So if anyone might know, definitely make a comment below and, uh, you know, inform me what this bridge was exactly for. Because obviously it could be for people, but it also looks like for a specialized vehicle or something like there's these really big lights on it so and barbed wire so uh yeah I i'm not exactly sure about that one so uh for now i'm gonna continue on uh walking on the path i think i'm more than halfway there <laughs> um so just now maybe you can still hear him in the background but uh there's a couple of guys on dirt bikes that were coming up this way and uh the first guy's bike it just kind of stalled on him as he was coming up this uh little hill uh so yeah he was you know that was kind of funny <laughs> uh but anyways um uh i am here uh at the beach and i'm not sure if you can notice or not but um, i'm using a different camera now i'm using the camera that's on my phone and that's because well the camera that i was using the battery was getting really low and um i thought it still had juice in it but it uh, started to like glitch out and like shut off on me, so I'm using the phone for now. But um, here you can see uh, the lake. It's behind me, and it's really quiet and peaceful out here. So it looks like there's a lot of um, like as you can see, there's a camper over there. Uh, there's another couple campers back there. So it seems like uh, you know the Slovaks like to have fun too. Uh, like we do in the States with uh, camping and uh, fishing and swimming and whatnot. So I'm gonna try to find a good spot to just sit down and chill. And then I'll tell you about the uh, seven things that I like about living in Slovakia. Very nice little lake. It's not that big, but it's big enough uh, to swim in and to have boats in and go fishing in apparently. And it looks like uh, people do some camping here too, which is kind of cool. All right. And here we are, finally, uh, at the lake. Now, uh, this lake is called uh, Zelena Voda, and that just means green water. So it has kind of a funny name. It's kind of a simple name. Um, but uh, now I will be talking about the uh, seven things that I like about Slovakia, living as a foreigner. So um, as we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this video, that's one of the first things I'm going to talk about. The first thing is food. Now, uh, I know that this part of Europe, like Slovakia, um, isn't necessarily the most known for uh, their food or for their cuisine, uh, but there's, you know, a lot of really great dishes that they have in, in, in Slovakia. Uh, like there's one, uh, the national dish, which is uh, called Brinzeva Halushki, or Brinzeva Halushki, and that is a, um, it's, it's kind of like a, a potato pasta or nochi. Uh, with a, a type of sheep's cheese on it. You can think of it like that. And uh, oftentimes they put um, really thick pieces of uh, bacon on it. So kind of think of it as like a really fancy, very delicious and very filling. Um, I mean, this is maybe not the best way, but it, the closest thing is maybe a mac and cheese, but it's definitely not mac and cheese. It is much, much better than that. It's very good. But uh, the food overall here, uh, I really like the food. Um, it's very meat heavy, uh, very dairy heavy, like there's a lot of uh, cheese. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, breads and, you know, sweets and snacks and things like that too. Um, but they, they, they really, you know, there's, there's a lot of really good, fear, uh, good food here. I, I wouldn't say it's always the healthiest, but it sure is tasty. Like for example, um, uh, if you like cheese, you can get uh, deep fried cheese or fried cheese. Uh, that is called a viprajani sir, and that is uh, an excellent, uh, you know, main dish. Um, 
and, and, and so many other foods. Um, I, I think I'll uh, get a little bit more in depth on uh, the different kind of foods uh, that I like here and maybe its own video, but uh, for now I can tell you that there's a lot of great cuisine here. Um, uh, yeah, meats, uh, cheeses, uh, oh, uh, I can't forget potatoes. Uh, they definitely love uh, potatoes here and I love potatoes as well, so it works out well. Um, so yeah, a, a lot of that kind of food, like if, if you get, um, you know, some standard dish from like a restaurant or, you know, some uh, to-go place or something like that, uh, there might be vegetables, but usually the vegetables are just like as a really small salad on the side. And, uh, you know, obviously the main thing is their meat or like fried meats and potatoes or fried cheese and potatoes. So very heavy food, but very delicious and fantastic. Um, Another thing uh, that's kind of uh, in the same realm as food is uh, uh, coffee, surprisingly enough. Uh, I know that also they're not very well known for um, coffee or to have cafes or something like that here, but um, they definitely have really good coffee and there's uh, cafes like all over the place. Uh, there are so many cafes uh, in Slovakia and I'm in the city of Bratislava. So there, there's so many cafes that you can go to around here and even uh, one that, you know, you might think it's like a little cheaper or something like that. Uh, still the coffee is like, it's really good quality. So um, it's not just like, you know, full of Starbucks and, you know, stuff like that, or it's overpriced and it's sweet as hell and not in a good way, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so there's like actual cafes that serve really good coffee here. So if you're into that, if you like, you know, espressos, uh, cappuccinos, lattes, and anything else, uh, they, they do really enjoy coffee and ha uh, have a lot of cafes here. Except the one thing regarding coffee that I haven't been able to find so much is um, mochas. They don't really have mochas here so much. But um, anyway, um, another thing regarding food before we go on to the next subject is uh, uh, alcohol. So it being Central Europe and especially, you know, Slovakia, uh, they really love their alcohol. Like, um, uh, there are many different beer brands here. I would say beer is probably uh, the most popular kind of alcohol, and then hard alcohol, and then wine. Um, but so many great uh, beers here. Like, they have uh, what I think is the most popular one. It's called uh, Zlaty, Baz uh, Zlaty Bajant, and uh, that one's really good. Um, I'm, you know, I, I, I don't really drink beer on like normal occasions, but uh, I do know that if you, you know, are a fan of alcohol, if you like drinking, then this is a great place to be for that. You can definitely get a drink, um, you know, in, in most places. And that's something else to mention is that uh, if you're in like a, you know, a park or at a lake or something like that, and there could be a little shack or like a small restaurant nearby uh, serving drinks and serving food. Um, you are allowed to walk around with a cup or a glass of beer. So it can't be a bottle, but if you get it from a shack or like a restaurant or something like that, you can walk around with it. So that's kind of, you know, something that's kind of neat. That's kind of cool. All right, so the second thing that I really like about Slovakia um, as a foreigner here is uh, the public transportation system. Now, before I get into that, I do want to preface uh, this part by saying if I had a car and a local license, I would obviously drive. Now, there is a certain sense of freedom with driving that is uh, just, it's great. It's, it's a very freeing feeling uh, to be able to go wherever you want, whenever you want. And you are, you know, the person commanding the vehicle, <laughs> driving the car. So uh, I don't think anything can really beat that. But, um, you know, if you're just traveling here for you know, a short period of time or maybe a week or a couple weeks or something, um, you're probably not going to be driving a car, so you're going to be using public uh, transport. And I think uh, their public transportation system here, especially in the capital city here in Bratislava, um, it's very robust. Uh, it's very good. Um, I'm, uh, so I'm from the States and we, you know, it, it depends on what area you live in or where you are. Um, how good the public transportation is going to be because uh you know in in my home area there's starting to be a bit more trains and maybe a better bus system too 
but um, I would say at least that uh, here, uh, like for example, the bus system is really good. Uh, depending on the stop, like there can be a bus coming, uh, you know, every couple of minutes. Like they come very frequently, and there's all you know routes that take you all over the city, and uh, some even outside of the city. So the, you know, buses are very frequent here. So you can you know, if you see a bus stop, you can wait there, and within five, ten minutes or so maybe a little bit more for some areas but you know in five or ten minutes like you will get a bus so uh, a very good bus system here and also uh, trains now trains in the states I have been on maybe like once or twice but it's not really a normal thing for people to take the trains um, obviously in larger cities like San Francisco or New York City and others uh, you maybe take like subway systems but um, in my home area, they uh, just started to develop uh, their local train system in like the past, I don't know, five to seven years, something like that. And uh, so growing up for me, it was never a normal thing. But here in Slovakia, um, they have a very good train system. And, um, you know, you can go from one side of the country to the other uh, in, you know, maybe like eight hours or so. Uh, but the you know, trains at the same time, they, you know, it, it's it's a pretty active system, so that's something that's nice, something that's uh, helpful uh, to get around the country, like, even if you don't just want to be in the city all day, you can take a train that might go for, like, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, three, more than that, maybe, uh, to some area that you see online or, you know, uh, heard someone else talk about, and you can go there, and yeah, so the train system is pretty good. Uh, one thing I would say about it is that on longer trips, um, especially if you're going like at night, um, I, I, I wouldn't expect to get to the destination at the exact time that is listed on your ticket, because <laughs> um, I, I took uh, a trip that was from, uh, you know, one side of the country to the other, and it was a very long train ride, but uh, it was longer than I had hoped. It said it was going to be eight hours, and it turned into ten, so sometimes that can happen. But um, yeah, the public transportation system in Slovakia in general is very, very good. All right, and now the third thing that I like about Slovakia is um, obviously what's around us, uh, nature. Um, there's a lot of uh, really cool, like, deep forests and mountains and hills. Uh, there's lakes like this one. This one's kind of smaller, but I've seen, you know, there's some larger size lakes. Um, I've seen online, like on Google Maps, I've seen pictures and things like that. I still would like to go to them. But there's so many areas that are just beautiful and full of life and full of um, uh, like vegetation and plants and trees and things like that. And you know, you hear uh, the winds like I can right now, and it's uh, it's very calming and soothing, uh, quiet in a lot of areas. And uh, yeah, just uh, large open fields in many places. Um, there's uh, supposed to be really great hiking spots too. Like I've been um, hiking to even some really good, uh, you know, kind of smaller mountains and uh, forests that are very close uh, to the city here. Um, but, uh, you know, the area that everyone, you know, every Slovak likes to go uh, for like a vacation, maybe if it's like over the weekend or for a week or something like that, they like to go to the Tatra Mountains. And those are kind of in the middle, like no more uh, northern part of, uh, of the country. And, um, yeah, no, those mountains, I've seen pictures and I've seen footage of them and they look uh, just really incredible and like it would be, you know, a great time to hike up there and to see the, you know, beautiful and magnific uh, magnificent views. Uh, so that is something else that I really like about Slovakia is the nature. And I'm back. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of an environment change. Um, the battery on the camera and also my phone uh, died, so I had to go back home and get a different uh, battery for the camera. So the fourth thing that I really like about Slovakia would have to be the architecture and overall uh, building design. Now, um, you can see a lot of history in many of the buildings here. Uh, there's many older buildings. Um, uh, castles, uh, other historical buildings and monuments. Um, a lot of the buildings can be made out of uh, brick or, um, you know, like some kind of like other like very sturdy material. Um, and, and there's very detailed and intricate designs on 
Uh, some of the buildings, especially like, uh, you know, castles, religious buildings, some kind of historical monument, things like that. And uh, it's very clear to see um, the difference in eras of construction of like, you know, the era that a building was built in because the styles are pretty different. For example, um, you know, a building like a castle or you know, so, something built from uh, a previous, you know, previous couple centuries is quite obvious. Um, it, it, you know, has a, a certain look to it. And uh, then I would say, uh, then buildings that are made, mm, let's give it a big window of like between like the 60s and like maybe early 90s, like the kind of um, uh, communist era, they kind of also have a particular look to them. Um, there's a certain type of apartment building that I believe is called panelac, and the and 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 the and a panelac, it's uh, it's it's an apartment building that's made out of panels, and it was supposed to be like very quick to build or something like that. Um, but you know the uh, the apartments are you know very small; um, they don't have too much space. But uh, it, it's it still kind of has like a unique look from the outside, and it looks uh, kind of interesting. Um, so that's another thing. And then um, there, there's also many modern buildings as well, at least in the, uh, in, in the city here. Uh, so you kind of get a mixture of like three different very general eras. Like there's modern buildings and there's skyscrapers and things like that. And then there's many um, kind of communist era uh, buildings that have their own un unique feel and design. And then plenty of like uh, much, much older buildings that uh, just have like a really great uh, classical feel to them and um, have a lot of history behind them. So uh, the architecture of Slovakia uh, is something that I really like and appreciate. Now um, the next thing of course is uh, the uh, Slovak language. Now it still is very difficult for me to understand Slovak. I've been kind of practicing and learning it uh, for the past you know six to eight nine months um, on and off so I, I can understand a little bit and can speak a little bit even less but um, even just hearing it from other people talk or you know family speak to one another it's uh, it, it's interesting to hear and uh, it's quite different from English obviously uh, there's a lot more uh, rules when it comes to grammar and things like that so uh, it takes a while to learn and to get used to. It's uh, definitely not the easiest language to learn, but it is a fun one nonetheless. So the sixth thing that I really like about uh, Slovakia is the people. Um, the people that I've met and that I've talked to have been really nice and welcoming and uh, very even accommodating. Like, you know, if, if you go to someone's house, like they really want to offer you food or drink or something and you know they they don't want you to be hungry uh you know when you're visiting them at their home and um in general uh the people that i've talked to they, they've been very nice and pleasant and you know they uh are, are conversational and um you know very friendly and, and welcoming people they're also uh very hard working people i i've noticed um many people you know they they, they uh, I, I I feel like they earn their um, th their vacation time because that's something that they also uh, that Slovaks really appreciate is is their vacation time, whereas uh, in in the states um, you know we're we're not so big uh, on on vacations at least when it comes to like the kind of corporate work culture. So that's another thing is is the people here are really nice. They're really welcoming. Um, it's easy to to talk to them. Um, you know, if they speak English or if if they uh, don't, and if you know a little bit of Slovak, they're going to be very understanding. So um, you know, you know, they they're they're not uh, the kind of people to, to judge you in, in in that way. I don't think, at least. So uh, the Slovak people are, are very nice and welcoming and hardworking people. Okay, and now the last one, the seventh thing that I really like about living in Slovakia as a foreigner is just the general vibe, the general culture, the general uh, overall feel to this country and its people, um, you know, its culture, everything like that. Um, it feels very mild in a lot of senses. Uh, the people can be mild. Um, 
nothing feels too, I don't know, in your face here. Um, you know, it, it's very easy to uh, be able to go out in nature or go on a hike, or if you want to go to the city, then you can go to the city and there's, you know, uh, pretty active uh, nightlife, like a night scene and things like that. So if you're in, into that, then uh, that's something that you can do. But um, I feel like people really underestimate uh, what this country has to offer because uh, there's many different things that you can do here. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of uh, things like, uh, they call it wellness, you know, going to spas, hot tubs, uh, hot tubs uh, getting, ma getting a massage, things like that. Um, so th that's, you know, something that you can do here. And then also, you know, just go visit all the uh, castles. Like there's castles all over the country. So that's something that I think is really cool. And then also caves. Uh, caves are another thing that I would like to uh, go and explore. Um, and also there's, of course, uh, the mountains, the, uh, the, the mountainous region and like the, the Tatras. So great for hiking and like exploration. And maybe if you want to stay like in a cabin or something with some friends or family, that's something that you can do. And um, I, uh, I would say uh, much of the country has a very um, like kind of country-esque feel. Uh, when I say that, like there's a, a meaning that there's a lot of small towns, um, you know, with like open fields and not too many people and things like that. And I, I haven't been to too many towns like that. I have been to some, but those, uh, they, they just feel very nice, like very cozy and quiet and welcoming in a way. And um, the, the, the city and the people in the city are, um, you know, they, they, they kind of have a different feel as well, but um, but uh, just uh, this country ha has a lot to offer is, is, is what I'm trying to say. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, me uh, sharing a bit about uh, what I like about Slovakia, living here as a foreigner. And um, yeah, so uh, th thanks for watching the video. Um, if, if you're interested in seeing more of these videos, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and maybe give the video a like um, and a comment. Uh, tell me about uh, what are some things that you like about uh, Slovakia or maybe what are some things that uh, you think that not everyone uh, knows of about this country because I feel like it has a lot to offer and um, you know, this isn't the first place that people think of if they want to go like on a vacation or as a place to visit. So. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.